Hey gang, this is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, where my goal is to help you cook your catch over a thousand different ways. Tuna War Recipes continues with recipe number four, tuna green chili verde. Oh my god. This recipe is dedicated to a friend of mine that I met a couple of years ago. His name is Nam. Two weeks ago, June the 28th, Nam went out on his own, him and a buddy of his, looking for big bluefin tuna. He got a big bluefin tuna. 288 pounds. Anyway, I can't wait to share his story and his bluefin tuna with our new recipe, tuna green chili ceviche. Here we go. So the first thing we have to do is get grilling. Here we go, the green onions, the serranos, our tomatillos, just been washed. No olive oil, no salt. Same with the onions, just been washed. Whoa, look at that. That's what we need right there, look at that. All right, let's start off by taking our roasted tomatillos and our roasted vegetables. I'll cut them right in half and start putting them into our blender. Now, keep in mind, um, these don't have to go. These don't have to go on the grill. They can go in a frying pan. They can even go in an oven. All you're doing is roasting them. I love to put them on the grill because I like the nice smoky flavor and the char, the rustic char that you get. Here goes the onions, bundle of cilantro. Here's my orange. I always use an orange whenever I'm using tomatillos because the orange has a certain sweetness to it that offsets the bitterness of the tomatillos. A lot of Mexican home cooks will simply use sugar. Now we're going to be adding lots of lime juice, so I just want to add enough juice in here to get the blender going. That's awesome, that's exactly what we want. Perfect. Oh boy, look at that. Let's taste this. Lots of citrus, the salt is just perfect, and the heat from the serrano. Oh my gosh, it's time to start adding the cucumbers. So, I've got medium sized cucumbers here, but I have taken the seeds out, because I don't need any additional, any additional moisture here. One cucumber. Okay, let me get my mangoes. Two mangoes. All right, let's stir this up. Add my fish, then off to the refrigerator. Wow, look at that. Okay, it's time to cut up this tuna. Oh my God, look at this. So my hat's off to Nam, what a phenomenal story. Went and bought his own stabilization binoculars, looked up everything online, learned as much as he could, and went and found his own fish. 288 pounder, unbelievable. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more lime to this, because I can tell I'm gonna need a little more, and we're getting close, believe me. Okay, I've got one more lime that I put in there, and it looks like we're gonna have enough. So that's four limes and one orange. Okay, I'm gonna toss this and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for only an hour and then we'll come out and finish this dish off. We're gonna put these on tostadas. Oh my God. Right now, I'm cutting up some a serrano pepper that's nice and red and I'm gonna use this for garnish. Wow, there's one. There's two. Holy moly. It's garnished with a little red pepper. So here you go, boys and girls. Chili verde tuna ceviche on tostadas. Oh my God, this is so delicious. I just had a little bit before I even walked here. I can't believe the flavors are going out of my mouth. 
So to all you guys and gals out there that enjoy learning about these different seafood dishes and enjoying learning new cooking techniques, subscribe to our channel. That way you can keep up to date with all our new recipes. We'll see you soon.